From the Ultra Dojo, this is week nine of the Daily Mueller, and now, Kate Winslet's worst nightmare. <laughs> yeah, right. Ellie Cogney Mueller. Ha! Welcome week nine of the I'm Ellie Cogney Mueller, so we cry stoppers. All right, let's get this over with. Tonight's Charles White winners are Ace Vector's friend Ed. We can do it with the screens. Once again, Fnatic, Hot Wheels, Fnatic, and Supercar Fnatic with all things automobiles. And win Pegasus 5947. Now, here's something interesting about him, all right? He's not only a newcomer in the world of uh, Montagam, but he is also the Pegasus in the sky. You know, with new games that you probably haven't see, haven't played before, or probably have played, but probably have ignored. You know, he's a really good friend of mine, and you know. Uh, and here's another thing, all right? You know what? Uh, he loves finding new people to meet. You know, as long as they treat him well. All right, as long as people treat him well. All right, so please, you know, when you check him out, I encourage you to check him and all the other people out, but especially Win Pegasus 5947. Right, when you check Win Pegasus 5947, be nice to him. All right, please. Now, let's get this thing over with. Now, tonight's program, let's see if I can uh, find it. Ah, here we go. Tonight's program is about Kate Winslet. Now, she's trying to rule the world. And, you know, let's look at the facts, okay? People are still fighting her about the Titanic movie. Now, everyone, now everyone in the Himalayas recently bugged her about how great the movie was. I mean, come on. It wasn't really that great. I mean, the whole movie... It was just uh, people uh, screaming, I'm on top of the world! You know, and people were painting, and it was just a silly little movie about how the Titanic, you know, uh, drought, or, or how the Titanic managed to sink all the way down to the bottom of the ocean, you know, over a hundred years ago. I'm serious. Now, she has come a long way since then. Well, not really. She has appeared in a documentary, documentary about being vegan. It's called, In a Way to Extinction. That's right. I'll repeat it. In a Way to Extinction. Really? We're going to be okay. Look, as long as we're not eating rocks, we're okay. Now, let me ask this. All right. Did certain people force us to uh, be vegan? No. All right. And some people can be vegans. Some people can't be vegans. You know. You know. And whether or not, you know, you, you choose to go that route, you know, you got to understand, you know, as long as you're eating the right kind of foods and everything else, you know, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, all right? It really doesn't matter, all right? And if it did matter, then, you know what? Uh, you know, I wouldn't uh, be here right now. But we are here, and right now we are going to do a topic list. With MP and Mr. Bones. Adam uh, has fallen asleep. So let's try it. What's the category tonight? Tonight's category, top eight words that can be used to describe Kate Winslet. Number eight, goofy. Number seven, jerky. Number six, foolish. Number five, silly. Number four, dorky. Number three, frustrating. Number two, stinky. And number one, awkward. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Thank you very much. 
I will take a commercial break and we'll be back uh, to seeing uh, how uh, I might click in that. Click in that. Uh, we'll be back and see uh, how uh, um, how much we can uh, do after this. <laughs> I know I should stop procrastinating and start working, but I'm kind of looking for a sign. Like this? No, from above. This? Oh, okay. Hello out there from TV land, a beautiful place to be. Nick at night, better living through good TV. Have you ever had to wait for new carpeting to be delivered? I'll guarantee you, before it arrives, you'll think they must have sent it by Slow Sam's Turtle Express. You can expect to wait a good four weeks, maybe six to eight weeks. But I'd like you to remember, Empire will have your new carpeting delivered and installed in 72 hours. Plus, you'll get your choice of a telephone or Bissell shampoo, free with any carpet order. So call Empire now, huh? 588-2300-EMPIRE Don't wait for a Slow Sam. Apologize for acting a little loopy before a commercial break. I uh, had a law in my mind, and you know everything went loopy. All right, I'm going to try and stay calm, and we're going to get through this. All right, now let's have some talking time. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Now, usually we would have uh, the talking time, uh, you know, a slogan and a theme song, but since Adam is asleep, you know, let's try a little bit different, all right? I'm going to give you this poem. <clears throat> so it's talking time once again in the YouTube dojo. Well, everybody just, uh, acts and, uh, and, and talks and, and pretends to be interested in, in a thing called a pogo. As they never meant the pogo stick. And you know what? This is getting ridiculous. Let's get this uh, show uh, on the road very quickly before things get uh, before things get uh, ridiculous. Oh boy. That did not work at all. I'm sorry. It's talking time, and here we go. Tonight, we're talking about Kate Winslet, you know, as I said earlier. Now, Kate Winslet, you know, for those of you who don't know, did the so-called iconic Titanic. You know, and, and she portrayed Rose DeWitt Bukater. Now, that's pretty interesting, right? The Titanic is based off of a true story about the ship that, that is named after the same movie, or after which the movie has been named after. You know, the movie uh, is a blockbuster uh, hit. You know, when it premiered in 1997. Even won a few Academy Awards. Even had Leonardo DiCaprio on there as well, but that's not the point. Kate Winslet was not ready for the impact of the Titanic. Now, listen to this, alright? You know, like she said, I remember people saying to me before the film came out, how are you going to cope? How are you going to not change? She said. I would feel almost defensive and angry and think, well, of course I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change. What are you talking about? Of course, uh, it says here that she had been wrong. 
you know, and, and then, uh, you know, uh, because the next day, you know what, uh, actually, uh, several days later, she went out, and she stayed, and she uh, went out and bought a newspaper and a pint of milk. No problem. That was one day. And then she said the next day she couldn't get out of the house because of the paparazzi. Hmm, paparazzi. We have something similar to that today, but of course we call it TMZ. And of course the Himalayas. You know, it was a place where, you know, the movie was really booming. You know, that was back in, and that's in India. You know, uh, and she was walking in the mountains. You know, like he said, Titanic was everywhere. But a couple of years after it came out, I went to India. I was walking in the foothills of the Himalayas. Just me with my backpack on my back. And a man came towards me with a walking stick. He must have been 85 and was blind in one eye or whatever. You know, and he continued. He looked at me and said, you, Titanic? I said, yes. And he just put out his, put his hand on his heart and said, Hank, I burst into tears. He really helped me understand how much that film had given to so many people. Or how much that film had given to so many people. Now, that is insane. You know, who knew that films can actually do something to your lives? Now, if this show could do something uh, to, to your lives, then I think that this world will be set for another decade. Or another, uh, or another millennium, or so. Who knows at this point? Now, you probably didn't know, don't know about this yet, but here we go. Kate Winslet, you know, over, you know, began her career in the film without having the creatures, and she also did uh, Sense and Sensibility. That's right. In those little movies and the Titanic, but now she's doing a move, a documentary with Leonardo DiCaprio on the 2024 vegan documentary, In Our Way to Extinction. You know, because uh, she's trying to uh, support the film's mission of exposing the true cost of eating animals. Okay, now here's the thing. All right, yes, sir. Uh, People are eating animals, and yes, uh, we only eat more vegetables, but let's, let's think about this for a moment, all right? Let's all think about this, all right? You know, we all need to have a balanced diet, you know? And sometimes, you know what, you know what, you may think that uh, just eating vegetables alone will be healthy, but at the end of the day, you need to have a balanced diet of for more than just vegetables or more than just fruits. You gotta have your proteins, you gotta have your grains, you gotta have your dairy products, you gotta have all those things. You know, so this whole thing together, you know what you know what what we just spread doesn't really make sense at all. It really doesn't. However, it does says here, uh, it also says that she is going to star in the Black Beauty reboot. That famous book by a woman in, in a horse named Black Beauty. You know, uh, which was also, uh, uh, it was a novel written by Anna Sewell. Or Sewell. Yeah, Sewell. And... And it later became a movie. That's right. Well, it's now becoming a movie. You know, very interesting. Well, actually, it, it was a movie. You know, starring Richard Denning, uh, Charles Evans, you know, Terry Kilburn, and Highland Dale. Now, my question is, I took them too long. I mean, seriously. I mean, come on. You know, as a matter of fact, here's an interesting, alright? 
you know, my family and I actually have Black Beauty somewhere in the house. I mean, somewhere in this uh, YouTube dojo. I'm sorry, you know, it's, uh, you know, we do the show here, and, and we also live here, and things like that. But anyway, you know, you know we have, uh, that book, you know, Black Beauty, uh, somewhere around, around here, and, you know, I didn't know about, uh, about the fact that Black, uh, that, uh, the Black Beauty book, which has become, uh, which became a movie long ago, is going to be rebooted. You know, Dad probably had no idea. Well, he probably uh, knows now, but, you know, it's, it's amazing. You know, this is the kind of story that we need right now. This is the kind of story that we need. You know, and I'm glad that we actually got to it. I'm glad that we actually got to it. Yes. Well, that is the show for this evening. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you folks tomorrow, and hopefully nobody will be confused. That's news. I'm Altskis. Bye-bye, bye-bye.